Imagine yourself on a ship, sailing through a storm, with a golden fleece as your only ticket home. You're on board with Jason and the Argonauts, a crew as diverse as a bag of mixed nuts. And this golden fleece? It's not just your average sheep's winter coat. No sir. This thing is like the golden ticket from Willy Wonka, except it's woolly, and the chocolate factory is a bunch of life-threatening challenges. So, would you dare to join Jason on this perilous journey? Buckle up because we're just getting started. But before we begin if you like this kind of content please like the video, comment below, and subscribe to my channel. Now, let's dive in. Now, no man is an island or in this case a ship, so who else is on board? First off we have Hercules, the guy who can bench press a mountain and still have energy for a protein shake. Then there's Castor and Pollux, the inseparable twin bros. They're like two peas in a pod if those peas could punch you into next week. Next up we got Orpheus, the resident heartthrob. He's got the voice of an angel and the charm to match. Just don't ask him to play Wonderwall at the campfire, he's had enough of that request. And let's not forget Atalanta, the only woman on board and easily the toughest of them all. She could shoot an apple off your head from a mile away but let's not test that theory shall we? And last but far from least we have the ever trusty Argus, the shipbuilder who's more attached to the ship than a barnacle. With such a crew what could possibly go wrong? Well you'd be surprised. Ah the open sea filled with endless possibilities and, unfortunately for our heroes, endless troubles. Now, if you thought Jason and his band of merry men were just out for a sunny cruise, well, think again. They faced a buffet of challenges that would make even the bravest among us break a sweat. And no, there were no buffet breaks. First stop on the trouble train was the island of Lemnos, a place filled with lovely ladies who, plot twist, had offed all their menfolk. Talk about a deadly dating scene. But Jason and his crew, ever the charmers, managed to smooth things over. Next up was the harrowing Clashing Rocks, which, as the name suggests, were not the ideal vacation spot. Imagine two giant mountains playing a game of catch the Argonauts with the ship as the ball. Not exactly the relaxing seaside getaway they had in mind. And let's not forget the six-armed giants of the land of the Dolionis, who were as hospitable as a pack of hangry grizzly bears. Our heroes had to fight tooth and nail to come out of that one relatively unscathed. After surviving a sea monster, a dragon, and an army of undead warriors, you'd think they'd earned a bit of respite, but folks, the universe had other plans. After all these trials and tribulations you'd think they'd get a break, but no, the biggest challenge is yet to come. So they've battled monsters, survived storms, and now, the Golden Fleece is within their grasp. Easy peasy, right? Well not quite. You see the Golden Fleece is chilling out, hanging on a tree in the middle of a garden. Sounds simple, right? Wrong. This garden is guarded by a dragon. I'm not talking about a cutesy fire-breathing pet. This is a full-blown, sleep-with-one-eye-open, nightmare-inducing dragon. The Argonauts can hear its guttural growls, feel the ground quake beneath its stomps. Tensions are high, palms are sweaty, and I'm pretty sure someone just fainted. But fear not, dear listeners, for our heroes are not so easily deterred. With a plan as crazy as their adventures so far, they managed to snatch the Golden Fleece from under the dragon's nose. Talk about a close shave. So, that's the tale of Jason and his Argonauts. Adventurous, dramatic, and a little bit ridiculous. But hey, that's Greek mythology for you. Hungry for more? Dive into the world of Greek myths and discover a treasure trove of stories just as wild as this one. 